just throw a good spot.
Well, it's still snowing. It's not as cold this time. Well, it's not as cold right now. It's about zero degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's supposed to be minus six tonight, which again is like 22, 21 degrees Fahrenheit. I know, because I checked this time, so I wouldn't have to do the wish-washy conversions. Uh, as you can see behind me, or can't see because it's not in frame, I have set up an envelope style tarp this time. I want to put a fire out in front. I didn't really have a plan when I came out here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to find many rocks around here. I've got to find a creek or a source of water at some point. I can boil, I can boil snow, but it's pretty inefficient. So I've got a water filter. I'd like to do that. So maybe I'll find some rocks, but I think what I'm going to do is make like an upside down fire, have my bigger pieces on the bottom and all the way up to the kindling and tinder and let it burn down. But yeah, that's my plan right now. I've got to go get some firewood. One thing I do need, and if someone can help me with this, please, is these gloves, right? I bought these gloves like a year ago and they are still stiff as a board. I bought them because they're supposed to be warm and they're leather and they were cheap. <laughs> Which probably explains why they're still, still so stiff. And it's like a little mini hand workout every time I put them on. I can't even make a fist. But I went back and I looked on Amazon the other day where I got them from and all these five star reviews had like, oh yeah. You gotta give them a year. You gotta give them a year of constant use and then they're great gloves, five stars. It's like, what? You absolute lunatic. Who buys something in the hope that it'll work the way you want it to in a year's time? Oh, I see you got a new truck, Bill. Oh, you betcha. How does she run? She runs like a champ. I mean, the steering lock's still on for the first year, obviously. Obviously. But. I'm pretty sure once that steering lock comes off and I can turn around corners it's gonna be a real good truck. I mean, I don't know, if someone's got something, some product, I tried putting the stuff, rubber bands on them and the stuff they put on baseball gloves to soften them up and it still hasn't really done anything. So if anyone's got something I can put on them, as long as it's not some like homemade herbal recipe that requires four rose hips, half a goat testicle and <laughs> pint of herbal tea, I don't know. Just something that I can put on them to soften them up. I did waterproof them, so that's one thing. But I bought them because, last, like if you saw my last video, I brought two gloves with me, leather ones to pick up my pot and then warmer ones for winter conditions. And I bought these as a, as a do it all basically and I, I hate them, I hate them, I just wanna squeeze them. I'm gonna chew on them in my, with my teeth at some point, if I don't sort it out, so. Yeah, if anyone's got any suggestions, leave me a comment down below. One thing I do need to do before winter is get a new saw. Why? This saw has one fatal design flaw. For anyone who owns it or is thinking about owning it, this, the wing nut. Now, by some divine miracle, last year, last year I was out in three, four foot of snow, just for the day. And I was putting this saw together, and what did I do? 
I dropped the wing nut in the snow and it just went straight down. And I say a divine miracle because I managed to find the wing nut again. So, not so bad in the summer because it's silver, but once the snow comes out, if you drop this sucker, it's gone. So you have to be very careful. Let's go. Don't ask me why in the world I, just, <laughs> I decided to cut that tree like that, but look. Super punky on the outside, and the core. But then out here, there's some nice wood, so I don't know. I'll use it.
Ah, beefcake. Oh. I came across this when I was out looking for hardwood. As you can probably see, everything around me is pine and it's all pretty alive. So, because it's getting, I guess it's warming up now. The slow, uh, the snow is starting to get slushy, so walking on it is becoming a lot more difficult. I'm gonna need more than this. I'm gonna need more. Smells great. I can't even grip this axe, the gloves are so stiff.
Right, I've been busy soaring away for the past hour since I got my knife, my uh, knife, my axe, my bench made. Hasn't had as much time to baton, so now's a good time. Light work. Easy. Easy. This one's a bit more difficult. Son. Uh, that's not as good a cut, but you know what? Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Freaking log fell over. Scared the absolute Whoop. piss out of me. There we go. Nice. <sighs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Well, here it is. The upside down fire. I have no idea how well this is going to go, but I've been working away at it. I mean, if it goes up, I wouldn't be surprised if it burns for quite a while. But I've never done anything like this before, so I don't know. Everything's pretty wet. I've got all pine on top. I don't know what that piece of wood underneath was, but it's actually not bad. So, we'll see. It's half two now. I think I'm going to wait till 3 o'clock before I light it and we'll see how well this kitty purrs. Stick around. I'm not really sure how well this is going to work but we're going to try. Everything's wet. Wet, wet, wet. This is the birch that I collected earlier. It's been in the Dutch oven, aka my back pocket we'll see how she goes come on fire steel right She's up and running.
He's out. Fuck. Still got some birch in there. Not a lot though. Come on. I'm just not getting a good spark off the steel anymore. Like there's nothing coming off. It's doing the stupid ridges in it. I don't get why it's doing that. I'm going to need different birch, better birch. Right, let's try, try this again. No messing around, this time I'm going under that stuff. I don't know if it's the birch or if it's this fire steel. Stupid fire steel. It's getting those ridges in it, which happened to my last one. And then it won't spark. It will spark as well as it should. Come on. I don't know what does it. Throw a good spark.
considering it's an upside down fire, I keep put, having to put everything on top of it. Well, it's going now. I don't know if I'd call it an upside down fire as much as I'd call it a normal fire made on top of a pile of logs. I don't know if this is going to burn or continue to burn. It's not very hot. I don't think doing this with wet wood was the best idea. Because I'm lo I need the heat to dry out the wood and I seem to be losing it all going up and then all my coals seem to just fall off the side which is what I want, a hot coals to heat up everything underneath. So I'm just going to leave it, I'm going to let it burn. I don't even know if I'll be able to cook my dinner on this. It was an experiment and I tried it, I will try it again. Maybe not in these conditions though. So, we'll see. Ta-da! Maker's Mark. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It's not a whiskey, it's a whiskey. Handmade, distilled, aged, and bottled by the Maker's Mark Distillery, Inc. Star Hill Farm, Loretto, Kentucky, USA. And there goes my fire. See what I mean? Piss! I do not like this. No, sir. Which is annoying because I thought this would just burn all night. It'd be great. It'd be amazing. Anywho. Yeah, there we go. The uh, store I went to this time didn't have a lot of selection. I drink Bullet normally. Uh, their distillery, oh, is a designated Kentucky and National Historic Landmark. Fully matured. Alcohol, 45% by volume, 90 proof. What does the back say? Oh, it's just warnings. Let me check. Yeah, still not pregnant, so I can drink this. I know this stuff is famous for this wax tart. I wonder if they have beef with baby bell cheese. Jesus. I about need this right now. Oh, baby. Screw tart, that's weird. Maybe not. Maker's Mark. I've never really drank this, so cheers, guys. Yeehaw! It's alright, is that? That's not too bad. I'm not going to drink too much of that until I've had my dinner, but... My cooking apparatus... ...isn't doing too hot, so... Anyway... We shall see! Emergency chilies boiling. Camera's getting steamy. Don't know if you can see me. Well, the upside down fire wasn't a complete failure, but I wouldn't say it was a complete success either. 
I did manage to cook my emergency chilli on it. I brought fish for dinner. Well, fish and chilli. But I didn't cook the fish. Managed to cook the emergency chilli. Get something in my belly at least. But this is going now. I mean, it's, it's doing alright. It's still got at least two, three tiers to go. So, might go for a while. There's not really much going on, so I'm just going to sit here, and I'll get with you guys before I go to sleep. Well, I'm in bed. It's only half six, but it has not stopped snowing. I was sitting by the fire getting warm, but I just kept getting uh, wet, which was making me cold. So I decided to get under the tarp and get into bed. The uh, Again, the upside down fire is ripping now. It's actually turned out all right. It's it's pretty good as a a set it and forget it type deal. Like I say, I definitely <laughs> I de definitely do something different to get it going next time. But there has to be a better way of doing it. But anyway, I will get with you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. Oh, time's 6.30 right now. I slept alright. It slept pretty good. I don't know when the... Actually, I slept like a brick, to be honest. I don't know when the fire went out. It's definitely a lot colder now. It feels like minus six. It's what sort of woke me up. My eyes are hurting. I'm breathing in through my nose, breathing in the cold air. So I'm going to get up, I'm going to pack my stuff, uh, head out of here. But thank you very much for watching. Please give it a like. If you like this, please subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Take it easy.